What's, what is, what's... To have independent learners in class takes systematic training and clear procedures. Here, my students follow our morning routine, set out homework, copy new assignments onto their assignment sheets, and then go to the next table group to check their homework for completion. <coughs> Moses discovers an incomplete homework assignment and charges Jorge a ticket. Moses then crosses off Jorge's completion stamp box, with Jorge's permission, and highlights the incomplete assignment on the assignment sheet. Every student has a class job to facilitate procedures. Brianna stamps assignment sheets for students who have completed their homework. Can you guys come down to the floor? Oscar is this week's class leader. Students are very capable of doing many of the tasks normally done by the teacher, including directing transitions. Okay, we're going to correct the sentences together. Um, who has something to say about it? First sentence. Reviewing student work and Thank leading you. discussions. Uh, I think that uh, you should have put uh, one triangle on um, late last night. Who agrees with Lacey? You could go fix it up there. Anna? Um, on the first one, you need an arrow. You could go fix it. Hello. Oscar incorporated a pear share into today's lesson. Stood. Second one was move. Third one was tool. Here, Oscar gives a practice spelling test. Smooth. Um, fit, the fifth one, well, you guys have to reach consensus. Students are trained to compare answers and discuss any differences until they agree. Type is spelled wrong. I think it's spelled T-Y-P-E. Can you change my line? Because right there in that word, the Y isn't really a vowel. O-O-T-H. Notice how students raise a hand when they are looking for a new partner. This is another example of training students to use procedures to foster independence. Um, spell stood. S-T-O-O-D. Students can check spelling correlately without the teacher. Spell move. M-O-B-E. Get ready to read page 12. Reading groups can be student-led as well by using reciprocal teaching. Daniel is the facilitator. My jar made of fruit. I predict that I predict that um, Manzor and the old man are going to um a total. What do you guys predict? I predict that that maybe that when he plays, he's gonna get the maybe the rhythm of his music and start playing too. Yeah. I predict that. Does anyone does anyone else have a prediction? He uses a guide booklet to help him lead the discussion. We would really like to read singing. Um, I need letters from from Tuesday. Um, Jocelyn, put a five-minute ring on. Um, Moses. Students can hold each other accountable. Oscar is collecting Me. student assignments. Madison. Excuse me. Um, we're gonna share our I wonder sentence. Okay. Jerry? My first one is page 242, paragraph. Echo. My first one is page four, 242, paragraph one. I wonder why songs were so important. Okay. 
Okay, that was a good sentence. I mean, I wonder sentence. Um, hope. I said that um on. Students check daily math by reaching consensus in groups of two or three. The kids know who to partner with by looking at the pictures on the board. Let's listen in as these students try to reach consensus. Times four. Yeah. Yeah. Divided by five. Yeah. And then three thousand one hundred and eighty-one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I need help with this. Okay, so I, think, like, my mom's I got two, two, three. <laughs> two, I got three, two, two, but still same. <laughs> Could you explain my answer so I know how to do it next time? Okay, look. There's 12. So 6 times 2 would equal 12. And then nothing besides 1 can equal up to, to 2, so you circle it. That becomes an answer. So but then, you would do... Because look, if you try to think of something that adds up to that, like by multiplication, by multiplying, you, you can won't only get use it. one. Yeah, but one doesn't count in these things. You can't use one. If you're done reaching consensus, you may go to recess level four and um three and six and six sixteen and twenty one has to stay in here for five minutes. So level four may line up. May go outside. Okay. Level three. It keeps playing the music. in a colony center, early goddess in New England, suffer from cold and hunger, colony still, for example, help to find colonies. Yeah, but then, what's this? What's this? That's colony! She doesn't have, to have a tea! Yeah, that's because oh. colonies. I think, I don't think we need colonies! Yeah, no, I have do. to have a oh, tea no. and an S yeah. at the end! Aubrey and Hope peer review each other's writing assignments. Or just, you just take that. Just. Is that capitalized? Or no? no, it's not. It's going under. Oh, okay. We Students created vocabulary cards and now are using a carousel to teach each other their words. Country. Right here, um, this is a Highland home because it's higher than the other small homes. Well, because Highlands are um, house, like they're in the higher part. So these are the ones that are on the lower part. To sing or speak all at the same time. And Okay. I need to tell you it's full of giraffe houses. Thank you. You're welcome. Oscar facilitates math facts quizzes by passing out the quizzes and timing the students. Anybody else? Minus? Thank you. I should go. Ready? Set? Go! We're gonna come down to the floor with nothing. Um, we're gonna we're gonna agree with the new leader from level four. Yes. Who's in level four that that haven't been a leader that wants to be? Here, Oscar is running the election for next week's class leader. -E. Who votes for Matt? This uh, say uh, this is our new leader.